This is DTLR Radio. Your lifestyle, your music, you're plugged in right now with Fathom Got the Juice on this wonderful Monday afternoon. Yes, it is. I hope you all had a wonderful weekend. And today I am joined by a very special guest, man. It's getting good around here. It's very busy. Oh, man. Mr. Kyle Kuzma, how are you? How we doing? Appreciate you having me. Hey, look, we appreciate you coming to stop by with us today, man. Welcome to the DMV. Welcome to the city. Yep. Um, how does it feel being in the, in the district? Uh, it's different. It's different in L.A., for sure. For uh, sure. Yeah. <laughs> <Man>. <laughs> um, nah, it's cool, though. Um, it's a different pace. It's slow, slower. Um, it's peaceful out here, though. That's the, the one thing that is, is a lot different. You know, it's still a little traffic, but you know, it's cool. Have you found anything to do yet that you like? You know what I mean? Like certain spots or anything yet? Uh, man, I like going to museums and um, like the monuments. I'll be taking my dogs out there, walking them sometimes. Uh, I mean, that's, that's really all I really do. Mm -hmm. You know, I stay out in Maryland, so I'm not necessarily in the city, but None close of us to the city. Work. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah makes you, sense. You never want to live in that city. It's, it's, it's a mess. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I mean, it's, it's, it's all love. Um, What's the good thing you feel so far about being on the East Coast? Um, seasons. I think that's the number one thing. I think, uh, you know, I'm from the East Coast, so, like, I, I understand, like, you know, winter, spring, summer, fall. But out in L.A., it's it's only spring and summer. So, um, you know, seeing the leaves change, fall, you know, it just brings some, like, wholesomeness to you. So, mm -hmm. yeah, for sure that. It'll be a real Christmas again. Oh yeah, right, definitely. Right, with some with some winter, with some snow, with some snow, yeah. all that gets some cold. They said it don't snow that much here though. It doesn't, but um, I I, I think it might change this year a little bit. I don't know why I'm getting that vibe. That's your vibe. Yeah, we, I don't know if we had a snowy uh, winter last year or not, but I think we might get that vibe this year. Yeah, no. Somebody told me, uh, one of my friends told me it might snow like two or three times out here. Yeah, yeah. So but when it snow, it get real though. Uh, it gets real, it gets, yeah. It gets real. It gets like real. nor'easters, right? Or yeah, something? nor'easter. Oh, it gets ugly. Yeah, that's what I heard. A extremely ugly. Um, once again, we're happy to have you here. So, we're here with Puma Sports. Um, everybody that's tapped in right now, make sure you follow the brand as well. Um, you've been around for a long time. We've seen a lot. NBA life, all of that good stuff. I had a quick question. Yeah. Who would be on your dream team starting five? Just five from any... It doesn't matter. You can mix and match errors oh, and all that good stuff. I hate this question. Oh, you hate that question? It's too much. It's, it's too uh, much because it's too many people. Nah, yeah, it's just too many people. Too many I people. mean, uh, man. It's a tough one. Magic. Magic. Okay. I'll give you Magic. Um, Kobe. Uh, Bron. Shaq. My five. Mm. Four. I'll go small ball. I'll go like KD at the four. Oh. Some shooting, yeah. That's a nice spot. Yeah, I'm going to go with that. that, that it's just so hard. It's just too many players. Like, you can just go. Way too many Like, I, honestly, I like the better question is like, okay, name your team. Name your team. Like, if you gave me like 12 people, that, that's to be a little So, bit I'm going to be honest with you. So, maybe I overthought it, and I apologize. I thought asking you for a whole squad would be too much. Nah. I be, said I'll simplify for the, for the match. Nah, I get it. I mean, because I don't like giving, like, generic answers. Like, you know, it's always like uh, MJ, you got the Brown, you got this, that. But, yeah, I'll give you that one. I, I, I like that, man. I, I appreciate that. When did you know you were destined to play back? I mean, obviously you're 6'10", nine. Yeah. Yeah, so when you just... Um, I, I just... I had hoop dreams at one point in time. So yeah. Well, but you see... I'm five three. It just didn't. It <laughs> didn't happen. happen. Yeah. Um, I mean, it's just always been. It's just always been there for me. Like ever since I was like two or three, I used to just hoop in the in the living room, and like that's all I ever said I wanted to be is basketball. Like I never really had no plan B. Like, I never thought about like um, working on Wall Street or some shit like that. You know. So um, yeah, it's just always been basketball. That's it. Always been basketball. And, and yeah. And luckily for you, the hard work, I don't even say luck, but the great thing, everything has panned out great for you. We're happy for you. We're proud of you. Yeah, appreciate you it. Thing. Um, you know, we're fans. DTLR, we're a big family over here. Um, we're going to get into some music. Who you like? Music-wise? Like, music yes. Oh, man. Everybody. 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 It's, it's, it's a lot of people right now. Like, I feel like the music, like, people, like, I feel like the music is, it, it's getting, like, a little, like, I'm not gonna say wash down, water down, because mm -hmm. everyone kind of sounds the same, 
You know what I mean? But, but um, obviously, like I love Cole. Like that's my man. Mm -hmm. um, Have you had a chance to stop by the tour? Um, man, he was in he was in D.C. October fourth. Yeah, I went. We were we were in uh, Houston. <sighs> Messed me up. I know. I was pissed. Um, I, but like I went to like his KOD. His KOD was ridiculous, mm -hmm. and I heard that like this tour it didn't disappoint at all. At all, right? At it's all. nice, like, right? I mean, the, the set he had the the rent the basketball rent. It was a basketball court actually. Yeah. It was half court. Yep. The, the rim was on fire. It was, it was dope. Okay, yeah. but uh, I mean, like obviously, like I don't know who I'm listening to right now. Like I like that Donda album. Mm. That was fire to me. Um, I like Dirk. I love Dirk. Dirk is really nice. Um, uh, Blast. Ah, oh, Blast. That's, okay. That's my man. He okay, that's nice. a sleeper pick right there. Sleeper. Sleeper. Sleeper pick. Blast Blast. Was dope. He was just here too. He was oh, here. was he? Oh, yeah, no. It's concert. Yeah, I went to it. Yeah, okay, yeah, okay. Yeah, uh huh. Yeah, that's fire. Um, man, it's somebody new. Oh, Don Tolliver. That's, that's, Don Tolliver. He's tough. Crazy. 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 We was just talking about it. What was you saying? We were just saying that like, it was crazy. Somebody uh, actually definitely asked me what I thought about it. And I said, that Don album is fire. Oh, it's different. Yeah. You got to see him in, in concert. I haven't seen him it's in concert It's different. Yet. It's different. Crowd's crazy. Man. You just, it, it just look, it looks like a like, whole bunch of like little like typhoons in the crowd. Like It's just like mosh pits. Like, mm. It's crazy. He's one of them ones. Oh, 100%. So if there was a song right now that describes cool to a T, where, where, where would you go? Man. Song, album, artist. Can I look at my phone real Go ahead, quick? knock yourself out. We on your time. Oh, okay. We on your time. We don't want you to run over. But hey. Yeah, it's all good. Let me um, let me go right here real quick. Um, oof. It's tough. I love man. I ain't gonna lie. I love this Meek Mill Love Train. Oh. I love this. What about that record that make you love it so much? Man, he's just he's just talking to you, man. Mm -hmm. Like he's 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 spitting real game. You know, he's talking about um, what is he saying? He's talking about. He was talking about comparing women to a plain Jane watch. Mm -hmm. If you if you listen to that verse, mm -hmm. it's deep. It's real deep. So I, I like that. I like that a lot. I, I gotta get into that. What's been your favorite uh, album of twenty twenty one? Because this year has been we've been loaded. It's been really and, good. And, we, and we're still gonna get Kendrick. Still getting Kendrick. Still getting. Kendrick. And there's more people that still dropping like just low key people. Uh, Straight up. Like. Cause that Blast and Bino project is definitely ridiculous. underrated. Oh, ridiculous. Definitely S underrated. Yeah, six tape, it's crazy. Um, like, people really don't even know about that. You know what I'm saying? Like, they don't. They, like, they don't. It's, it's, it's missing people. But Accountable is my favorite record on that project. Accountable? Yeah. I'm stressful. Stressful? Okay. Yeah, it's, yeah okay. stressful is crazy. Um, okay, and so. One of them ones, my bad. One, one of them ones? ones? Yeah, one yeah. of them ones. Time only tell. No, no, that's in the other one. That's not it. Is it on that one? It might be. Um, okay, sh I mean. I think, I don't know, it's just, I can't like pinpoint one, mm -hmm. but I feel like Donda was cool because it like, like I like al albums that are like layered. Right. You know what I'm saying? That it's it's an actual album, like it's a roller coaster of flow. Um, so like Donda's up there for me. Um, it was just so many albums, like that Life of the Don is, is dope. Um, you know, the Dirt Baby Project, that was good. Talk about it. Um, I think this new Young Thug album is is going to be crazy. Yeah, I think y'all just have to listen to yeah, it because because really because that's how Thug always is. Like if you listen to like Slime Language too, mm -hmm. and that's a group project. But like, I feel like every Thug album you have to just like come back to it in three months, and then in three months it's going to be like whoa, you, it's you crazy. Find more joints on there you like. It's crazy. We're doing an in store with Young Thug tomorrow in Atlanta, by the way. Uh huh. Yeah, I fly out there tomorrow afternoon. That that right, I've been sitting with it for the last two three days, and like I keep finding joints on there I like. Yeah, did you like uh, uh, Certified Lover Boy? I'm biased. I'm a Drake fan. Okay. I'm a big Drake fan. Drake yeah. Can, Drake can really do no wrong to me. So yeah. Like, okay. But that that album grew on me over time. When I I'm not gonna lie, when I first listened to it, I was just like, uh, and then every day I was like, oh nah, this the one, this the one. This yeah. One. I was in the club that night and left. Uh huh. Because. The album had finally got it out. It came out, and you yeah. just left. And I was just like, yo, I'm out. Yeah, no, I feel you. Yeah, how you, I, how you like that album? Um, I like it. It's cool. Um, I mean, it's just Drake. You it's know Drake. what I'm saying? Like, yeah, every song, you're going to listen to every song. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, it don't. He, he he's at that point where it don't matter. Like, he put out whatever, and it's going to be fire. Easily, easily, easily. 
Listen, ladies and gentlemen, we're sitting here with Kyle Kuzma. We're talking music, sports, and Puma right now on DTLR Radio. Keep it locked. We're coming right back in a few.